Hello, I'm John Dittert, your host for this drum lesson, and today we're going to talk about drum heads. As a drum teacher and a former five-star drum shop employee, I get asked all the time, how often should I change my drum heads? Now, as it turns out, that's really a question wrongly asked. Drum heads are most often made of plastic, a material that doesn't ever really go bad. You don't need to worry about them expiring like you do a carton of milk, or even oxidizing like you would a set of guitar strings. In fact, the only reason you need to change your drum heads at all is because you're constantly hitting them, causing them to deform in various ways. A better question then is when should I change my drum heads? At what point do they become so deformed so as to be unusable? Now there are three visual cues that let you know when it's time to change your drum head. The first is if you have a punctured or torn head. If you can put your fist through the drum head or use it like a hula hoop, it's time to get a new head. Now while some tears will be obvious, like this one, others will be more subtle. Often people bring drums to me and say they can't get the head to hold tension for whatever reason. Most of the time, the problem is a relatively hard to see tear along the collar of the head, somewhere in this area. If you're having trouble getting a particular drum to stay in tune, check along the collar of the head for tears. Even if you're not having trouble with a particular drum, it's a good idea to check this area periodically, especially if you move your drums around a lot. Next up we have a pitted head. If your head is full of little pits and dimples like this one, it's time to get a new head. These pits function essentially like rips and tears, just to a lesser degree. You'll find that a pitted head not only sounds worse and has less sustain, but will also be more difficult, if not impossible, to tune. Some of you might be objecting right now. John, I had pitted heads and I changed them, and then I played one song and I have pitted heads again. I can't possibly change my heads after every single song. To you guys I say, correct. You cannot and should not change drum heads after every song. If you find that you're pitting drum heads frequently, you're probably just hitting the drums in the wrong way. Now the right way to hit a drum so as to prevent this pitting is outside of the scope of this video, but if you find yourself pitting drum heads all the time, I suggest you pick up a copy of Jojo Mayer's Secret Weapons for the Modern Drummer or Tommy Igo's Great Hands for a Lifetime to learn about proper technique. Pitted drum heads are almost always the result of poor technique. The final cue has to do with coated drum heads, or rather, heads formerly known as coated drum heads. If you play on a coated head for long enough, you'll eventually wear through the coating and be able to see the clear plastic underneath. Though the head is technically fine at this point, it should still sound okay and hold an even tension, remember that you bought a coated drum head for a reason. Whatever properties of the coated head you enjoyed, such as the warmth of sound or the ability to play brushes, will be gone now that the coating is gone. So go ahead and change these drum heads as well. You'll be glad you did. If none of these visual cues apply, then you have to use your ears. Do your drum heads still sound the way you want them to? If they do, then you're fine to keep on using them. If there's nothing physically wrong with your drum heads, then it's just a matter of taste. It's kind of like a haircut. Do I need a haircut right now? Well, if I'm going into the army, definitely yes. And if I'm growing my hair out to donate to Locks of Love, then definitely no. It all depends. Now, I know some of you will not be satisfied unless I give you a definitive answer, so I'll tell you that I personally change my drum heads every 9 to 12 months. I play on my kit for 20 to 40 hours a week in a variety of styles. That being said, I've talked to some nationally touring drummers who change their drum heads every three shows, and then there's Charlie Watts, who legendarily and perhaps mythically changes his drum heads every three decades. So just use your ears and you'll be fine. Okay, that wraps up today's lesson. If you want to make sure you don't miss future lessons, please click subscribe. If you want to see me talk about other things, not necessarily drum related, but still music related, check out my other channel, John Dittard Music. And as always, thanks for watching.